Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new. And if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is checking out a calendar application called Time Tree. Now I'm thoroughly impressed by Time Tree so far, but only on a few features versus all of the features. I want to talk about my experience with it so far and how I think that with a few changes, it could be a very exciting application. Now, just before we get started, I did a full top 10 calendar applications video, which you can check out in the description below. I'll put it in the cards too, so it should be popping up near my head right now. You can go and watch that. It will give you a lowdown of what I think the best 10 calendar apps are at the moment. And also make sure to hit subscribe on this YouTube channel. It'd be great to have you here. Uh, and we put out regular videos, three to four a week, that you'll thoroughly enjoy. Anyway guys, without further ado, we're going to jump over to the laptop to demonstrate what it looks like on web and also on the iOS to demonstrate the likes of Time Tree. So guys, without further ado, let's dive straight in. So here we are with Time Tree. Now I'm running it on my iOS device. However, it is available on iOS, Android, and web. This company have come out of the sort of woodwork recently. I'm gonna be talking a little bit more at the end about the company itself, uh, mainly because I wanna sort of give you a backstory. Uh, it sometimes helps with security and things like that. Uh, but this application is fairly new to the market. I actually first discovered it when I was looking at some iMessage applications and up popped the iMessage, my iMessage application for Time Tree, and I was quite impressed. The iMessage function was quite cool because what it allowed you to do is use the scheduling function to organize activities with your friends. Now, this is its own separate application now, and what I want to do today is talk through some of the features. I want to explain why it's quite an interesting application, especially uh, new to the space, and then talk about some of its shared calendar abilities, which I think it strives with. So as you can see here, this is the iOS version. I will be demoing the web beta version, which was launched last year in 2016. So let's dive into the iOS application. As you can see here, it's a very simple application. Uh, it, there's no too many bells and whistles on this. As you can see, I've got currently in monthly view. This is the month of December. Um, and as you can see on previous dates, I haven't actually imported a calendar and you're probably wondering why. So the first thing to note is that this does not import Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, iLook Calendar, Out, iCloud Calendar. Um, this is solely its own calendar experience. So you're gonna have to start fresh. They don't have an integration currently. So you can access your calendars or on the left-hand side by choosing this panel. As you can see here, I've got uh, personal, I've got calendar, uh, family, sorry, and you can add calendars below. Now, it's quite interesting because once you add a calendar, it will give you a suggestion out of the many, family, personal, work, relationship, friends, group, or others. Uh, so it's the aim, the real sort of bare bones of this application is shared calendar experiences. So you can edit your calendar list anytime and you can actually modify uh, the cover image and details behind each calendar. But as you can see here, this is my personal calendar and it's indicated just below there. I've also got my schedule, which will bring together all of the calendar application notices, which is notifications and the app settings, which we'll share in more detail nearer the end. So it is quite interesting. This design is quite nice. Uh, so as you can see how I've got it in monthly view, but if I hold my finger down on the bottom left hand corner, you can change the calendar display. So there's weekly and then there's summary as well. So this is the weekly view. Quite like the weekly view. Uh, it's quite simple and you can swipe across them. Uh, and as you can see, it's really that simple. Uh, you've also got summary view, which gives you an indication of your sort of, it's like almost like a list view of all of the activities. Now it's really simple like that and can be used quite accessibly. So I wouldn't give this an award for its layout. I would more give it an award for its uh, sort of created, uh, like the, the sort of uh, ability to have your own calendar for different situations. Now, as you can see here, I've got, uh, let's say I'm gonna click into a day. All I have to do is double tap and that's the way that they view the day views. And if I click plus, to add a new event, this is what appears. And I quite like this, very well designed. As you can see, I can add the detail uh, to the timing, I can add whether it's an all day, I can even give it a color code. They have a range of colors and you can manage that. Uh, I can also add a notification, whether it's there. And if I open up the advanced options, I get uh, no repeat, uh, whether I want to click repeat on there, keep event uh, without a date, 
and I'll explain that in a minute. That's basically the keep section they have. Location, URL, and note. But for now, I just want to uh, choose this as something like um, scuba diving. Scuba dive. Okay. It seems like a legitimate uh, choice of things to do. And as you can see, it will pop up on that calendar and give you this almost summary view inside of the day view. Now, if I click off that, you can see at a glance all of this stuff. And if I were to hold down, again, you can access the create an event a little bit faster. Now, I've got search up in the top right hand corner. So if I want to narrow down a search based on the attendees, the labels and uh, the events I'm attending, that's very handy too. So the good thing is once you've created a calendar, you can share it with others and you're now invited to different calendars. Uh, so you could have one for different elements of your life and you can also create events that you schedule with friends. Now, it is really simple. Once you've got that, uh, it's pretty easy from there. You can just start creating. Uh, what I want to do is show you the settings. Um, so the app settings allow you to do a lot of things. You can change the notification settings. You can uh, allow some of the today notifications and you can modify a lot of the appearance side of stuff too. There's also a support section there. Now, you've also got a, uh, a, a profile which is quite handy and that's very easy to access. Uh, and once you create a new uh, event, you can modify all of the image, the color and all of the details there. So everything is pretty simple. Now, as I was mentioning, there is a section called Keep. Keep is essentially uh, a way to store events that don't have dates um, and they're almost like tasks or notes or activities that you want to store for later. So you can put this down as almost a journal. It's quite interesting because you can start logging all of these. Uh, it's almost like having, um, you know, it's a weird concept. It's like almost like a journal combined with uh, an event tracker uh, for your daily routine. So there's, there's nothing like date based here. It's just to have as a reference. Uh, and as, as you can see in the center, you've got a plus button, which you can quickly use to access the uh, create an event, create a keep or invite members to something. You also have what is called a feed, which is quite good. Uh, so the feed, basically what it does is it will keep track of all of the activities that have been going on. So if you've got a couple of friends here, you'll be able to see, uh, start sharing, messaging, liking stuff that they have there. So it's like a real customized uh, experience. So you can invite people to the calendar uh, individually and you can modify all the calendar settings on the more section, which is quite handy. So as you can see, a very social experience. So the company behind this is called Jubilee. Uh, uh, it's a Japanese based company. I don't want to get the name pronounced wrong. So I do apologize if I did get that wrong. The company is fairly new, but they are developing this application pretty rapidly for Android and iOS. I want to show you the web beta. So let's jump on that. So very strangely, I've been waiting here for two or three minutes. The web version doesn't seem to be loading. So as you can see, beta, very unstable at the moment. Uh, it might be due to my Wi-Fi, but I haven't had any problems uh, with other websites that I've been visiting. So that's just something maybe that you should need to know. The web version, I'll show you a couple of screenshots that I'll take a little later while editing, are uh, just a very simple dashboard, allowing you to add events uh, and see other family or other calendars you're involved with. There's not too many other modifications that you can make. So the web version is just in addition to the iOS and Android application and really does uh, just assist the experience. Now, guys, at the moment, this is priced at zero. So it's free at the moment, which is pretty decent. Uh, the application itself seems pretty uh, useful if you're socially uh, organized and you want to organize family and calendars like that. If you're looking to use the beta version on web, you might have a few struggles as I have. This isn't the first time this has happened. A couple of times during testing, it was pretty slow. Uh, but if you're just solely iOS and Android, this application seemed to work pretty well across the board. So guys, I hoped that you enjoyed today's feature about Time Tree. I hope it gave you a nice overview of the calendar. Um, I wanted to review it mainly because I was impressed by the experience on iOS and Android and I wanted to let you know just because this calendar is rapidly developing and I think over time there's a chance that it will be a very popular one. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's feature. Uh, make sure to, before you go, check out the Skillshare court class. Uh, there's almost 150 students on there now, which is incredible. If you're looking for your perfect to do this application, that's a great class for that. So feel free to go and check that out. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Make sure to have a great day. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.